Caitlin Clark and Iowa are headed to the national championship game for a second straight season. But early on, it didn't look like that would be the case. UConn started the game on a 13-5 run, and went in the halftime up 6 points. Nika Mule and Paige Bukers were hounding Kaylin Clark, and she struggled to be a dominant offensive force. Iowa as a team had 12 turnovers in the first half alone, but something changed coming out of the locker room for the Hawkeyes, as they went nearly 15 straight minutes without a turnover, and went from down 6 at the half to building a 9 point lead in the 4th quarter. Clark scored a little better in the 3rd, and scored over 20 points for an absurd 48th straight game. But it wasn't as a scorer that changed the game, as her ability to get center Hannah Stolke involved is likely what won Iowa this game, as the sophomore finished with a team leading 23 points, often being fed by Clark. However, a fast break 3 from Paige Beckers with just over 4 minutes to go cut the Iowa lead to just 4. UConn picked up the defense down the stretch, forcing multiple key turnovers that gave them momentum. A 3 from Nika Mule with under a minute to go cut the lead to just 1, and all of a sudden the Huskies were back in it. After an errant pass from Stolke with about 10 seconds remaining, UConn had the ball down 1 with a chance at the final shot and a chance to win. But then the refs decided to change the fate of the game. Aliyah Edwards was called for an offensive foul on a pretty normal looking screen she set for Beckers, that robbed UConn of a chance at a game winner. You can't make that call. Whether it was a slight moving screen or not, which I'm not sure it was, it completely changes the outcome of the game. Clark then made one of two free throws, and an offensive rebound on the second essentially closed the door on UConn. After a smart play where Clark threw the inbound off of Beckers to waste 3 tenths of a second, they got the inbound that sealed the win. UConn was a whisker short of returning to the national title game, and maybe reigniting their dynasty that had gone dormant over the past year and a half. Now Caitlin Clark has a chance to close her career with a national title, facing off with Behemoth South Carolina, who will enter the game a whopping 37-0. A controversial finish sends Iowa to the national championship. Now let's take a deeper look. Before we get into Caitlin Clark and Iowa taking down Paige Beckers and UConn, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Caitlin Clark spearheaded Iowa's charge back to the national championship game pouring in 21 points as the Hawkeyes overcame UConn 71 to 69 in a thrilling women's final four showdown on Friday night. Next on the agenda for the Hawkeyes is a highly anticipated rematch against the undefeated South Carolina team, whom they triumphed over in last year's national semis. However, their aspirations were dashed in the title clash against LSU. Now, Clark stands on the brink of securing her home state's first women's basketball title in her final collegiate game. Struggling initially against UConn's tenacious defense, the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer found her rhythm in the fourth quarter. With the game deadlocked at 51 apiece, Clark ignited, tallying seven points in the opening two and a half minutes to propel Iowa into a narrow lead. Despite UConn's attempts to close the gap, Iowa's resilience shone through as they orchestrated a decisive 6-0 run, establishing a 66-57 advantage. As the clock wound down, UConn mounted a late surge, narrowing the deficit to 70-66 before Nika Mule's clutch three-pointer following a steal, brought the Huskies within striking distance with just 39.3 seconds remaining. In a tense finale, Iowa's Hannah Stolke committed a crucial turnover with 10 seconds on the clock. UConn seized the opportunity to seize the lead, but Aaliyah Edwards was penalized for an offensive foul while setting a screen with only 4.5 seconds to go. Stolke led the charge for Iowa with an impressive 23-point performance, while Beckers and Edwards contributed 17 points apiece for the Huskies. While the finish may not have been what we wanted, Iowa vs UConn lived up to the hype, 
in the first 39 minutes and 50 seconds should go down as an instant classic. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.